Welcome to Mechanical Tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like part modeling, surface modeling, sheet metal enclosure design, plastic components design, product design, reverse engineering, simulation and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about sheet metal honeycomb pattern. So I am going to show you how to create the honeycomb pattern on, on a deformed sheet metal component. So this component we usually see in the hot automobile speakers so left side this is the component and this is the honeycomb pattern and right side is the forming tool see i haven't used this holes in the forming tool i'm going to explain why and what is the reason so i'm going to show you the component see this is the component i'm going to create see here it is like a disc and this is the simple forming tool so let's start now so now i am going to explain how to create this form tool so i have taken a new solveworks part file Select the front plane, go to sketch, draw a circle, so diameter is uh, 650, so this is a reference circle, so we have to make it into construction. Now select the line command draw two lines so make sure that it is coincided with the circle so this is 10 now select three point arc Select this arc and circle, make it co-radial. So now I am going to create a revolve feature and select this line for axis of revolution. See here. So we cannot directly place this uh, forming tool. So we have to create one extrude. So select this face and convert entity, this is the circle and create an extrude, you can assign any value, so I am taking 5 mm, see here. So we have to remove the sharp edges, select this sharp edge and select fillet command and this value is 2 mm. So now we have to convert this into forming. Forming tool. So select this face and say okay. see this magenta color is stopping face and this is deforming face. So we have to save this file either with pack and go or save as. So we have to select this folder. So usually 
we have to go to de design library forming tools so we can create any folder so i have selected created one folder so we can save this file so we can copy this path and we can save this file so here i have already saved this file see this is the file so i am not going to save next i am going to create sheet metal component this component so select the top plane So this is 164, go to sheet metal tab and select the base plane, it is 2 mm. Now we can place this forming tool on this command see here. So for position we have to select this tab right click and select so we have to keep at exactly at the center so we don't have center exactly so what we have to do is move towards this edge and move this you can see the center is highlighted so place it on is this and we can move this reference line so we can make it coincide with this so it now it is exactly at the center and say ok see here so we can create this cutout with forming tool but it consumes lot of memory file size it increases the file size and consumes the memory while making this pattern hexagonal pattern so to avoid such problem I am going to use this fill pattern command so select the top plane go to sketch draw one circle this is to define the boundary of the pattern so this is uh, 141 and we have to make a center line horizontally or any direction to propagate the pattern so we have to create one line this is important and come out of this sketch see here so we have to go to show hide command show all so this sketch is visible now now go to feature create create fill pattern so here we for direction see we have to pattern direction we have to select this line this is very much important and select the boundary so we have to select this line and parameters I am going to take 13 the gap between two instances and angle is 60 4 mm and then going to keep in reverse direction now see here 85 so I am going to select this polygon so number of sides I am going to take 6 size is 5 mm so angle is uh, so we can see from the top view so the pattern is ok and uh, we have to select the flip direction and say ok and say ok
So this is the pattern. So this is the one of the method and uh, this is how we create honeycomb pattern in sheet metal. Thanks for watching.